Hello, I am Miss Code, and today I am going to read to you Oliver and Hope's Adventures Under the Stars. Hey, great job, Chewie, said Oliver. We can add that stick to the batch Hope and I found. Hope's pile wasn't as big as one of her friends made, but she decided it was still pretty good, since she's a butterfly and can't carry very much. The three friends were just getting ready for their next adventure, camping for the first time. Blimey, this path is a bit dodgy, said Chewie in his English bulldog accent. But the path wasn't the only thing making Chewie nervous. We should get back to the campfire before it gets too dark, he said, trying hard not to look scared. As the stars rose above, the moon cast its white glow, creating big shadows that made strange shapes all around. All the friends used flashlights to find their way, except for Hope, partly because she could see pretty well in the dark, but mainly because they don't make butterfly-sized flashlights. Your shadow looks like a giant monster, said Oliver. And yours looks like, well, it looks like a bear, but a much bigger bear, barked Chewie. Everyone had fun imagining what different shadows looked like. Then they reached their campfire and imagined something truly amazing. Through the glow of their lights and the stars above, the friends pretended they saw a fire-breathing dragon. A very hungry fire-breathing dragon. I'm not going to let that dragon steal our grub, barked Chewie. Then he quickly grabbed the marshmallows before they were all roasted. Chewie was having so much fun, he almost forgot he was afraid of the dark. Of course, the dragon wasn't a dragon at all but simply the shadow of their friend Millie. For a small owl, she made a brewet big impression. The friends told stories, stuffed their bellies, and made up silly songs like, the moon's made of cheese, pass the peas, pretty please. The friends admired the stars shining brightly in the sky. Oliver wondered out loud, are they all the same? Hope thought, they look similar from afar, but the closer you get, the more unique they become, just like each of us. But she decided to just keep this idea to herself for now. Who, who, Millie said nervously, who do you think is coming? As she saw some of the lights getting closer. The friends imagined ten bright spaceships approaching. Soon they were all running around playing alien tag, which is pretty much like regular tag, except you play it with alien spaceships. Tag, you're it, hooted Millie. Of course the aliens weren't aliens at all. They were fireflies dancing in the night, but pretending they were from outer space was a lot more fun. Hope flew up close to one of the fireflies and thought, You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And the firefly thought the same thing about Hope's colorful wings. By now it was late and everyone was a little tired from chasing imaginary dragons and aliens all night. They grabbed their flashlights and headed into the tent. Time to get ready for bed. Oliver said with a mouthful of toothpaste, tops and bottoms side to side. By the time Chewie found his flashlight, everyone had disappeared. Once again, the dark made him feel scared. Where are my mates? He wondered nervously. As he slowly walked toward the tent, he thought he saw something very Pelicular. Ch 
Chewie imagined a nighttime circus tent filled with elephants, giraffes, and acrobats spinning in the air. At least that's what it looked like to Chewie, who stood frozen in amazement. When Chewie finally arrived, he discovered who the real stars of the circus were. Oliver, Hope, and Millie were all laughing and dancing as they used their hands and feet, and wings for some, to make shadow puppets. Chewie popped into the tent, flexed his muscles, and cheered, introducing the amazing Chewie the Great. Soon the lights dimmed on the circus, and the friends tucked each other into their sleeping bags. Who wouldn't have thought, asked Millie, that we'd see so many exciting things in one night camping? And who would knew dragons like s'mores so much, laughed Oliver. Oliver's friends giggled themselves to sleep, including Chewie, who decided the dark wasn't quite as scary as it used to be. High above, the moon and stars cast friendly new shadows to be discovered another night. The end.